Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Sophia. Um, today I need to shorten the sleeves on the dress. So I thought I would video it in case it was useful. Uh, really quick rundown because I know some people on tutorial videos don't like me chatting. Um, I got, got a wedding on Saturday. Thursday today but you know I like to leave things at the last minute found this in the Red Cross charity shop they sell dead stock clothes from like big high street brands like Zara and this one's nobody's child um so yeah really interesting anyway got this for 10 pounds um I really like it it's really beautiful fits me really nicely but the sleeves are just a little bit too long so I'm gonna film the process of how I do it just in case it's useful for you so Let's go put it on. Okay, so dress is on. Yes, I know, I'm not wearing a t-shirt bra when I actually wear this. So I just don't like the fact that the sleeves are quite long on me. I think it just doesn't suit me. So here's what I do. I am gonna check in the mirror in a second, but I'm just gonna fold the sleeves to where I think I want them. So I think I want it looking in the camera as well about there actually it might go a bit shorter like a little tea dress I think there's probably a bit better like that yes okay I'm just gonna pin these to show you okay so I've checked in the mirror and I pinned that one so then I sort of folded this one in a roughly the same area don't worry it's not going to be exact right now we're just getting an idea of where we want it so how I do that is I fold it underneath so it's up because then you get an idea of how it would look and um, don't worry about all the bulky fabric inside and then I'm just going to without stabbing myself pin that down like that and already I think it looks miles better so I've just folded that up with a little pin there and then I've done the same on this side little pin there so now I'm just going to take this dress off and we're going to go back in the sewing room okay so next step is to turn the dress inside out so then I've got something that looks like this with it will be the other side of the pin but then we can see how much we've got to take off. So now I'm going to use my ironing board. Now this is a very important step because I like to have a pressed finished line that I need to work towards rather than just like chopping, hemming and then hoping. Um, so it's, it's not really a cheat way, it's just um, I find this method much, much easier. So iron on okay so I've got my sleeve here you can see the back of the pin here and I've just rolled up a hand towel towel to go inside my sleeve annoyingly I do have those gorgeous prim sleeve ironing boards but they're all at the sewing school so I don't have one at home um if you've got one of those use it <laughs> um it just helps instead of constantly pressing and it affecting the other side putting something in between is perfect so just where I've got my pin bit here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to press, not iron, I have got glass headed pins so I can iron, well, I can press the pin, just so it's pressed in this section. Then what I'm going to do is measure that section. So it's, oh, look at that, exactly six and a half centimeters. So what I'm now going to do is go round my sleeve um, and marking six and a half centimeters folded upwards and then pressing this edge all the way along. So now that I've pressed that all the way around, I've got this beautiful pressed line that I can now use as a reference so if I turn it inside out I've got this really obvious um, press line all the way around that I know I need to work towards so now I just need to repeat it on the other side if your pins have a slightly different measurement um, go for like the middle so 
mine was one was measuring six centimeters one was measuring seven centimeters so i sort of went for six and a half on both now you've got everything pressed if you want to you can now go and try your dress on again and just make sure that you're happy with the placement of it okay so both sleeves are now with a really defined press line that I can use as a reference point to where I want them to finish. Now I'm going to look at how they've done the sleeves. So I've looked at all over the dress and they've basically done a tiny little fold up hem. So they've overlocked the raw edge, folded it up just by that six millimeter overlock line and then they've just top stitched um, from the front um, to make it nice and tiny and neat which I actually think looks really nice. Um, normally I'd do a rolled hem, um, but because it's quite thin fabric, I worried that it would look really bulky around the arm um, and it would like add too much stiffness. So I'm going to basically do exactly um, as they've done it, but I've just had a massive panic just in that second that I don't have any black overlocker thread for my overlocker at home. Oh, okay. I'm gonna do a zigzag stitch and a straight stitch yeah so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to use my sharp scissors to cut down here really carefully and I'm just gonna cut a centimeter along here um, I'm gonna use Taylor's chalk just to mark roughly where that is all the way around um, just so I've got it so actually I might do uh, do I want a centimeter no because that's quite narrow I'll do like seven millimeters marked and then I'll cut it there. Okay, so then you should be left with this. Um, and I'm just going to fold that back and zigzag the raw edge. Okay, so I've zigzagged both sleeves now all the way around. Um, and I've just given them another press just to make sure that press line stays the same and then I don't have to pin. Um, so now what I'm going to do is flip it over um, and just do a little line of stitching. I'm actually going to go a little bit further away than them. Because I didn't have the overlocker, I couldn't trim it as much as I wanted to. Um, otherwise this would just sort of like bunch up a little bit too much. And the overlocker would give it a little bit more strength on the inside. So I'm just going to sew, instead of like sewing here near the edge, I'm going to sew a little bit closer to this edge here. So I'm going to say it's like a six mil seam allowance. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to do the top stitching now. Okay, and that's what it now looks like. There's the inside and that's what it's like from the outside. So I'm just going to go try this on and make sure I'm happy with it. And there we go. Much better. I think it's the perfect length now. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, so I hope you found that video useful in some way. Because I was sort of just doing it in this time whilst mum looks after my boy, um, I might have like rushed a few things. So if you have any questions or you want me to clarify anything, then please drop a comment below and I will answer it ASAP for you. Um, but I really hope you found that useful in some way, even if I just gave you like another way of doing something, um, then that would make me happy. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time for another video. Happy handmade, everyone.